Hey, what's up YouTube? We're back with another random video. This time we're talking about buying a mattress online and what my experiences were buying mattress online, deciding I didn't like it, returning it, buying a second mattress, deciding I didn't like it, and returning that one. Now, uh, let's see, I started with the Cocoon by Sealy, moved on to a Bear mattress, and then finally settled on a Purple mattress. And I, you know, friends and family told me, that it was kind of a scary thing that I was buying a mattress online because I didn't know what I was going to expect, but I just trusted the 100-day trial uh, and the guaranteed returns, and I think that um, everything worked out well in the end despite time uh, consumption that returning these mattresses uh, took up. But in, in making these uh, purchases, I think I learned a few key points that I'd like to share and hopefully help you in your purchase in the future. So the first point I'd like to make is be prepared not to like the mattress. Have a plan in place. One, don't get rid of your old mattress too soon. That's um, me. I got stuck with having my old mattress for the first like three weeks. I had two mattresses in fact in my house before I was able to get rid of my old mattress. Don't get rid of your old mattress the, the second your new mattress comes in the mail. And that's because you you might not like it. And if you don't aren't 100% satisfied with the mattress, return it. Return it and get something else. There are a dozen brands out there. They're all just slightly different. You're never going to know which one you like the most unless you try it. And, you know, a 100-day trial, it's 100 days for each company. You could buy 12 mattresses, try them all out, decide which one you like the best, and return the other 11, and there's nothing they can say that it, that's a bad, you know, there's no ethical violations with doing anything like that. So I have full confidence that that's what you should do, and I had no problem calling up Bear Mattress and saying, hey, I just don't like the feel of it. It's just not satisfying, and they you know, were reluctant, but they picked it up. The second thing I would like to point out is, uh, like for Cocoon, they give you two options of a hard and a soft, and I think with memory foam, you're better off going with a softer uh, mattress. I went with the firmer one, and it just was really, really hard. And like I said, with memory foam, I think that's that material's a little bit more dense, and so uh, I would... Honestly, if you have the option, go. If you're considering Cocoon, I would go with the uh, with the softer one and at least start from there because you can always return it and then try the harder the harder one. The other thing I'd like to point out is that all these mattresses that uh, talk about the cooling technology, they all have their own cooling technology. I don't think they were really, with the exception of Purple, because of the way that their mattresses are designed, with the exception of Purple mattress, I don't feel like there's really any difference, and I don't think that they're really all that much cooler or cooling at all, especially once you put a sheet on them. I mean, every picture I've seen of a mattress advertisement, there hasn't been a sheet on the mattress. Well, of course, the cooling is going to perform better with there not being a sheet on the mattress. The second point I would like to get out there is don't finance your mattress through the company if you have that option. All of these mattress companies are offering this zero APR for 12 months financing. You know, financing a mattress is an amazing opportunity because it lets you buy mattress without having to pay the upfront costs. And for a lot of people, a thousand dropping a thousand dollars right off the bat isn't something that you really want to do, especially if you decide you don't like the mattress and you need to order another mattress. So what I would say is don't uh, finance through a company if you can get credit through another option. There are lots of zero APR for twelve month credit cards out there, and I would suggest that you do that before you finance through a company. And the reason why I say that is because when I bought my Cocoon, I financed through, I figured, you know, super simple, just finance through them, get it all done, won't pay APR, make 12 equal payments, whatever. Come to find out the way that 
Cocoon does their returns. They want you to do the return, uh, and then you buy another mattress from them. And that becomes a second transaction. And that transaction means that you don't qualify for the, uh, the zero APR because the zero APR is on that one purchase, one purchase item. And I called Wells Fargo Bank because that's who the credit card, uh, that's who the financing is through. And they basically said, well, you have to call uh, the, the consumer retailer and you have to explain that to them and they have to make an exception. So I called Cocoon and they said, no, no, you need to figure that out through Wells Fargo anyway. knew It was too big of a deal. I just said, you know what, I'll just go buy a mattress from another company. Again, you have so many different companies. There's no reason to be stuck with one company who only offers two different mattresses. So I definitely would suggest if you have the credit, go with the zero APR. 12 months, you can buy 12 different mattresses, not pay any APR, just make the minimum payment until you decide which mattress you want to keep. And then, you know, if you have the money, pay it off. I'm not going to tell you how to run your credit, but, you know, that's a much better option, I think, than the zero APR from a financing. Plus, there's other credit card options out there like, you know, getting cash back and all this stuff that might make your uh, experience, it might make the cost cheaper. Let's jump on over to Cocoon by Sealy. Right now they're offering 35% off. Now let me just tell you, that does not mean that you are getting 35% off. I mean, I just think they jack up the MSRP and then, you know, if a mattress is $2,000 and they give you 50% off making it $1,000, but it would have been $1,000 anyway, are you really getting a discount? In this case, uh, Cocoon was running two different specials where in one week, basically, in one marketing term, it was 35% off. In another marketing term, it was 25% off, but you get free sheets and free pillows. So either you're going to get a discount or you're going to get free sheets and free pillows. Uh, with Bear Mattress right now, it's 20% off site-wide and two free cloud pillows. That was the same deal. It's always the same deal. So again, you know, these these mattress companies do the same thing where they offer you a discount even though it's the same price no matter what. Purple um, is a little different. Right now they're offering their free sheets. There was a period of time where they were offering $100 off and that's when I went with... Um, when I bought my purple mattress, they were offering the $100 off or the free sheets. Now, the free sheets they were offering were $100 sheets, so and I think that they're worth $100, the sheets that they were offering. So really, it's a toss-up which one to get if you're planning on buying the sheets from them. The other thing I should point out is that you a lot of these companies offer uh, law enforcement, military, first responders, trucker discount. Let's see, what's the trucker discount? 10% off if you're a trucker, uh, educational discount, 10% off if you're a student or a teacher, all right, uh, military discount, 10% off military members, healthcare discount, it's probably 10% off, hey, look at that, 10% off, so really, you know, if you fall into any of those categories, you should probably be applying for this 10% off, it's an additional 10% off of whatever else they're offering, definitely worth it, um, Bear Mattress is, uh, does the same thing, maybe just for military, first responders, and healthcare. They're offering 25% off. So if they already offer you 20% off, the 25% off is not in addition. So you basically are only getting an extra 5% off. And then Cocoon might be the only company that I did not see offering a... Um, first responder, whatever, discount. But they're also the cheapest option out there. So I think the uh, the bear mattress I bought was still $100 more, even with the discount. Now, the fourth point I will make is make sure you read the fine print on your returns and how that policy works. Now, like I said, I first bought a cocoon mattress 
Um, and I and I looked at their, you know, free shipping, free hassle, free returns. Uh, I didn't really read the fine print before I bought a cocoon mattress, or maybe I would have noticed the 0% APR thing. Uh, I just assumed that I would like the mattress and that I wouldn't have to worry about returning it. Or if I did decide to return it, I would, you know, wouldn't have to worry about it. But most cases, you can go to the bottom of your page. Uh, in this case, you don't. Uh, where did I find the return policy? Support. Uh, yeah, so with the Cocoon, their website's a little different. The only place they have their return policy is under support, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. I think, honestly, they do have the best return policy because when I talked to the guy on the phone, he basically was like, you could buy a mattress from us, decide you don't like it, return it. Buy another mattress from us, decide you don't like it, return it. Buy another mattress from us, decide you don't like it, and return it. They only have two options. But the guy basically said, we don't care, you know, it's not one mattress per customer or one mattress per household. We don't really care. And then, you know, with, with Cocoon, they they let you find your own 501c3 company to donate the mattress to. And so in my case, not that uh, Goodwill or Salvation Army, I don't believe they take mattresses. Uh but I did find a 501c3 company in my area uh, called Love Inc. And they were able to set me up and to, with somebody who came to my house who needed the mattress. He, they came to my house and they got the mattress. So they got a free mattress out of the deal, which is kind of neat. Uh, I think all the other companies do the same thing, but they don't let you choose your own, uh, their, your own company. So with Bear Mattress, let's see, uh, return policy. Bear Mattress wants you to try it for 30 nights. So re realize that with Cocoon, there's no trial period. You get 100 days. within that, so At any point in time within that 100 days, you can decide you don't like it. Bear Mattress, they want you to try it for at least 30 nights. Now, it only took me uh, three or four days after doing the, uh, the Cocoon to decide that my back was just torn up. I was not sleeping well. My back was torn up. I ended up going back to my old mattress and ordering the bear mattress. And uh, when the bear mattress came, uh, that's when I had that for about a week and decided it wasn't, uh, I, I wasn't hundred percent satisfied with it. So I ordered the purple mattress. So I had two mattresses in my house. I had the bear mattress and the, um, um, and my old mattress still. And I had to wait another three weeks for Bear Mattress to, uh, for the 30 days before I could even start the return. Then it was a week, almost two weeks after I started the return that uh, they were able to send somebody out to my house to pick it up. And then it was another three or four days before I realized that I forgot to get a receipt from the people who picked up the mattress. And I had to call that company and get a receipt so I could submit a receipt to Bear saying that they picked up the mattress because I forgot to document. I didn't read the email clearly enough. And then it took another week after that for me to see the refund. So I got the refund. It just took a long time. The other thing is that uh, with Bear Mattress, uh, with their mattresses, you get one refund only one return of any mattress per customer, per household, or delivery address. So if you buy their, let's just say you buy their um, their Bear mattress and you decide you don't like it and instead you want to upgrade to say a hybrid mattress and then you decide you don't like that, well now you're stuck with it. That's kind of a problem, especially when all the mattresses I think are almost the same between all the different companies you might as well go buy a mattress from another company and if you don't like that one you can at least return it and then purple mattress um, their return policy is very much similar to uh, bear mattress except it's 21 days and uh, I love this uh, it took about 30 nights for us to get used to it and not wake up sore in the morning. I don't really know why it should take you 30 nights to get used to a mattress. I know I slept on it and it was weird the first 
couple nights I slept on it, but it wasn't uncomfortable. It was just different because of that material. And so, uh, you know, I, but I didn't wake up feeling like my back was killing me or sore. I felt refreshed. And I think you should probably feel refreshed right off the bat. Maybe I'm wrong. But they have the same, and they, they, they want you to consider some options before you make the return. Uh, but they have the same uh, issue where it's one exchange or one return per, and it doesn't say per household, but I'm sure it's per address. Um, sometimes you can find different return, more fine print in their terms of service. Uh, however, there's if you go to their terms of service, they redirect you to the returns and exchange page. So uh, there's that. I think somewhere I read about a, in some of these, one of these websites, one of these mattress websites, I read about a restocking fee if you don't like the second mattress they send to you. So there are, there is fine print that you should consider with these companies. And again, this is just three of the companies. You know, you've got um, a whole bunch of other options out there that you could be looking at. But those are the option. Those are the companies that I went with. Okay, my fifth point I want to make is make sure you have the right sheets. And I didn't get this idea until I bought the purple mattress. And again, if we go up here, do you have stretchy sheets? Uh, the purple mattress features the purple grid, which is designed to dynamically adapt to your individual pressure points. Honestly. This is very similar to memory foam. I mean, isn't memory foam designed to adapt to pressure points on your body? In which case, you should probably have the right kind of sheets. In this case, stretchy sheets. Uh, and if we go and look at um, Purple's stretchy sheets, where is it? Bedding sheets. They're $100 for a, a sheet set. And uh, honestly, I, looking at when I bought sheets, I actually think this might be worth it, and that's only because it's bamboo, and I think bamboos are sheets are more expensive. But then they also throw in that 10% spandex. Uh, the polyester is going to be a little bit stretchy as well, but the 10% spandex is what gives them the stretch that allows them to be absorbed. Uh, the cocoon sheets that I got were just cotton, like Egyptian cotton sheets, no stretch at all, and I think that that drum effect, they, that's what purple refers to it as the drum effect uh, I noticed that sometimes the mattress was more comfortable without sheets on it and that's probably because the sheets weren't allowing the mattress to soak up pressure points and adapt as well as it could so if $100 is a lot for sheets now again really you only need a fit you only need a fitted sheet to be stretchy you can jump on over to Amazon there are a couple different brands but the Cosmo Plus is the sheets is the uh, fitted sheet I bought and uh, great you know 20 bucks you can't go wrong with that it's been a great sheet soft um, like t-shirt like cotton that made a big difference it honestly does make a huge difference so to wrap up this video I would not be afraid to buy a mattress online the experience really has not been bad it's just been very time consuming and I think that if you are prepared for that commitment of going through different, you know, not uh, being committed to one mattress, deciding you want to return it and try something else, or being adventurous with different mattress companies, I think the results are much more rewarding and you end up with lots of pillows, which, you know, so, uh, but again, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to not like the mattress. And I also do not suggest uh, financing through the company just because if you don't like it you're gonna end up going with another company make sure you understand what the deals are so maybe uh, sit on the mattress you know look at all the brands and sit on them for a couple weeks and you might end up finding out that the price decreases and because of the sale that they're alternating between which might you know make a difference of a hundred dollars uh, the other thing is make sure you read the fine print. Don't buy a mattress and then plan on returning it and buying another mattress if you don't know you're going to like it. Uh, for example, with the purple mattress, I was contemplating returning it for a, uh, a better purple mattress, 
but then I realized the next step up is a thousand dollars more and I wasn't going to spend another thousand dollars on a mattress but at least I know I like the purple mattress and I'm not going to want to return it I just want something that might be more comfortable but you know again be ready that it, it you might not like that second mattress and then you're stuck with it and the fifth point I make is uh, make sure you have the right sheets for the bed I think that the stretchy sheets something with uh, with some stretch is very necessary for these newer memory foam and hyper elastic polymer mattresses so if you like this video hit the like down below uh, subscribe or leave me a comment and tell me about your experiencing buying a mattress online if you have any questions I'm happy to help as best as I can otherwise I hope you guys have a great rest of your week weekend night and um, stay safe out there